Good morning, remote viewers, humans, lawnmowers. Today is 9 September 2024. We're two days away from true New Year's, true Christmas. Maya's got a calendar. So let me orient you to my cover page. Then we'll press on with some amazing video from this man. David Wilcox. That's my son Kyle. He's the second of twins. His sister's name's Kathleen. He went into the Army at my recommendation. Completed college. Ended up going to OCS as an 11B. Got promoted through OCS to captain. Had some positive influences in his life knows how soldiers operate due to his OCS experience and then was mobilized as a part of his battalion in Mississippi going to Syria under Trump. So while in El Paso he was poisoned at Fort Bliss playing combat frisbee. He developed a disease that was eating away at the protein in his organs that was discovered in Kuwait he felt bad because he was working out, feeling weird, went in to get checked, and it turned because his hand swelled up. Doing the diagnosis, they discovered he had this disease that was doing this to his body. They put him on IVs. He recovered numerically in the count, then went back to work and relapsed. So they switched him from his primary position, which was going to Syria, as a part of a reaction force in case the special operators needed help with advanced equipment. He was upset about that in Kuwait. I assured him that his chain of command was trying to take care of him. So he switched positions, but he still was able to make it to Syria, work with the YPG, then Trump took everybody home. I'm his father, the guy in the green. This is my father-in-law, Ron Moss. Formerly Ron Mostowski, a Polish prince. When he and his wife Delphine went over to Poland, the cab driver bowed because they knew his history. So he was a Chicago narcotics officer and was at the Chicago Democratic riots way the hell back. He moved his family to Florida to Largo. I married his daughter who was adopted, all adopted children. Got a lovely wife named Delphine, who's part Carmelite, part Divine Mercy. <laughs> to put it in a nutshell, the Pope's John Paul did it. So here's a narcotics officer who became a pharmacist who's a Polish prince. He helped me sell my house in Franklin. He's a beautiful man, and he just had a heart, you know, the quad bypass thing, and he's coming along quite well. I understand he just had a car accident, but... The family is healing up, and I really wish everybody well in my extended family. Even though I'm divorced, I consider him my father-in-law, because I've only had one, and I love him. He's still alive. So this is what David's going to talk about. It's Markaba. We're going to ride in him by location. Double tetrahedogram. It can be expressed in dimensions, as you see. And of importance... Well, there's me, and there's the Knights Templar insignia on my typical video. Here's what David's going to talk about. Here's me and Albert. We met in Bangkok. It was actually the museum, but notice the height differential. But we did meet in Bangkok, Mr. Theory of Relativity. What a trip in Bangkok. I learned all about Buddha. The girl I was with was from the Philippines. We ended up going to, a, as we were coming home after a magnificent night out, she wanted to go see what the hell was going on in the red light district. So I took her in. I said, well, you want to see this? These girls were shooting ping, -pongs out of their, ping pong balls out of their vagina up on stage at the audience. They had the muscle memory to put it out. I didn't know any of this. We sat down with two ping pong paddles, you know, the 
the basic ones, nothing with rubber on them. Now, I was a, you know, a major focus of my undergraduate degree was table tennis. So when I got a load of this, they hadn't said anything about cost. And this lady's shooting balls at us, and I'm slapping them back at her. So at the end of the evening, I get a bill. And I said, what are you talking about? I ain't paying this. I negotiated. I paid, you know, 15 bucks or whatever for the show. And then we went home on the same trip. We did tours and learned from a guide and learned all about the many elements of Buddha in Thailand. Happy Buddha, sad Buddha. Thailand's got the food. They have Walking Street. We went there. I've been to all the places that one would go to to say, I know Thailand, and that's me. I'm a global traveler. So you see, I was in the Army, too, and I worked for Pete Shoemaker. That's why I recommended my son go in, but I didn't know he was Peter of the Bible, and I didn't know that Bill Garrison was St. Paul dropping helicopters in fixed wing. So it's all true. Reincarnation means born again, and this man is Edgar Gase. So I think I've covered my cover, and now we're going to watch a wonderful video, and I'm overjoyed to present this to you, the viewer. Hi everyone, today is 8 September, I'm having a good day, it's nice and sunny here in Hunts Vegas, Arkansas, that's really Huntsville, this is Clark's Vegas, Vietnam, places like that, I'm just in a good mood, so David Wilcock, if you know him, he's published some video live, and I caught it. So we're going to listen to about 20 minutes or so of him. Then I'm going to transition to Sam the Illusionist, who does channeling from Tibet. And he's done the past lives and tapestry of the person must be considered high self, who is a part of David Wilcock now, due to a soul swap. Now the old David Wilcock, I can't say where he is. It's multidimensional. But the former high self of David Wilcock will be given credit for accepting this and letting Edgar Gase run it. David was one of the early guys on Gaia.com. His transition has been almost seamless to a non-witting observer. But you know, it's funny, when Sam did the channeling, he had said that David Wilcock was coming back. I'm sorry, Edgar Gase was coming back to be a man named David. And I thought he was on the short list right off the bat. Sometimes these things work out because he's so deserving. He's a nice dude. He's funny, really intelligent, and he does his research. So when you see the information that is contained in this live video alone, it'll be compelling. And when you add the person of Edgar Gase, as channeled by Sam the Illusionist, it will blow your mind. Because Edgar Gase is only one of seven people on the planet who knows everything. In other words, he is a walking Akash. Because David Wilcock is now Edgar Gase, who used to be a girl named Carla Rickard. Edgar Gase. She channeled the law of one. She was in experimental meditation 20, 30 years ago and found herself and her instructor getting quantum. Going down to Mexico and witnessing surgeries performed with no equipment. I mean, they used their bare hands and natural tools to go in and fix things as opposed to, you know, alcohol and all the things that they do in a surgery room. It's just like outdoors. 
So that was David Wilcock then, and a woman. That was Edgar Gates and a woman then, and now the, this soul walk-in has occurred, and we're lucky to have Edgar Gates in this particular man. When these things happen, the person doesn't wake up and say, "Hey, I'm him, and I know everything I'm supposed to know." It's a hit because he's waking up to the nine to five. And I listened to him. He still paid homage to Trump and giving him all this credit. And now subtly you can see he's bunching them all into a group. Because he knows already. And uh, when you combine that with all the other great people that are on this planet right now. I mean, come on. It's fantastic. Even the ones that are going to check out of the net here are good people. The ones you've known that may be vaccinated, that maybe are, are a product of mind control and hypnotism. All hypnotism is, is occulted, altered thinking of truth. You know, we learned about the watch and being taken away and people can do crazy things on stage. Yes, that's elemental hypnotism. Now, when you wake up in a seven-day week, nine to five, and Sunday is only one day, and Mercury is on the elemental table as an artificial planet, and there are beings, human, from a planet called Nibiru, and we're spiritual beings, but we're down here unwitting. Even though we go to church, we also go to college, and you learn about Sigmund Freud and all the players, you know, the safest subject to take is history if it's factual. But then you get into all these other disciplines and with the teachers and what they may have for an agenda. Next thing you know, you got Antifa kids running around. And the other thing is college conditions everybody attending, let's say from age 40 and earlier, to be appleized. Like... You go to college and high school, it was ingrained in the upbringing. The guy that used to play the organ for the Tampa Bay Lightning also was a software developer, Apple-oriented, and developed a thing for teachers to monitor what their kids are doing. He sold it like door-to-door -door in Pinellas County, and it was gaining traction because he's a brilliant guy. His name is Ray Horsley. But the point I'm making is that it's all Apple based because that was in the curriculum and uh, God knows Microsoft is the blue screen of death and now we have Android so there's really three fundamental operating systems wide band can, uh, but of course there's other like Unix and Sun there's operating systems on that side links open source you know, when something's open source, something's going to attach onto it. So security-wise, if you have a tight kernel and you keep your crowd to those that need to know, it can be impenetrable as opposed to ports that have script that guys know how to get around. I'm not a hacker, but I can explain it. So we're very privileged to have David Wilcock in our group. You look at Michael of our everyday lives, he was... St. Augustine, and he's a member of the 144,000 elect men from Mars who were chosen by the Elohim when the war concluded, as was Elon Musk, who missed it per the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 12. If you could reduce the Bible to one paragraph and be impacted besides the Beatitudes, it's that closing segment before he was arrested where he talks about the elect. Who are they? And then he tells us in prayer, give them what we have so that they may be one as we are one. We have one true creator. And you're going to hear David Wilcock talk about it in the form of crystal and water and the implications of Dolores Cannon. Because we're going to a crystalline grid on this planet. We're being upgraded with adamantin particles 
that are raining down on us from the Shemesh in this golden age. And Maya has a calendar of 360 plus 5. So we're going to 6 days a week, 18 days a month, times 20 months, and that's a year. Plus 5 lazy days, which we are in the midst of right now. We're several days away from Christmas, 9-11. That's the day he was born. Under four stars. Total eclipse of the sun, Jupiter, and Regulus. Womp. It blew, the, you know, if you've got two stars shining on Jupiter, the, with the highest magnetic resonance in the solar system, it blew the sky apart, as testified to by Sudi in Dolores Cannon's book, Jesus and the Essenes. And the days lasted for days. How about that? So I wanted to set this introduction up properly and clearly so that you appreciate what David is going to tell us. And know the name David's important too because the star of David is embedded in what he says all the way down to the water. The star of David is a fundamental Merkaba and we're going to use them in bilocation to get around as an option. You have to go vegan and you have to allow everything to develop purely near nature. Get away from the 9 to 5. Get away from distortion and 5G. Voice to skull. And take control. Demand truth. If you vaccinated, it's tonic water with quinine. Admit your mistake though. Don't just say, oh, I heard that. I'm going to get some. So what? Whether I did or not. I mean, you're gone then. You're gone. You haven't gone yet. You haven't been terminated yet. But there's a big harvest going on. We're only going down to 900 million on the planet. And the last death on this planet since 2111. And I will be here to watch it happen or hear about it. Who would it be? Way the hell out then. Baron Trump? I don't know. But there will be a last death. And then, as Rush said, the meek shall inherit the earth. Click, because that's 2012 and then 2112. And then it goes nuts. The priests of Syrinx or whatever, Giddy Lee. I saw him in concert. I'm a rock and roll dude and I like 432. So we deserve everything. And not be malicious and sing bad words about women or ourselves or depressing country songs that make you want to just Shoot yourself. Just shoot me. Curb your enthusiasm. They do it to us, so you die laughing. Therefore, I was Billy the Kid. Again. I'm back. I tell people when I introduce myself, you're talking to a ghost. I didn't know any of this a couple of years ago. I was a normal dude, man, running around playing the game. I just happened to work for John Wyan at SOCOM. And he's Socrates, and Peter Shoemaker's Peter, and Bill Garrison is Paul. So it's epic. Now, if you want to take it all for granted, so when the solar flares hit and knock all the power out, just watch TV, because they'll have an excuse, and make up some bullshit, and you'll believe it. And talk to the other dumb neighbor, and talk bad about the other guy who did something right, that they didn't want to do. So they talk behind his back. And next thing you know. They're coming to arrest the fucking guy. For something or other. Like growing pot on your property. I can only say. Alright. So let's get ready to watch. David. And know that Yeshua was the Lion of Judah. Regulus was the top star. That's his tribe. Judah is Judah's truth. Mary Magdalene is from Benjamin. That's wisdom. Truth and wisdom. Judah and Benjamin, two tribes of 12. Then Solomon got in the loop after Bathsheba and the RH negative came pouring in. It always happens like that. RH negative blood. It kicked off 2000 BC when they crashed into the Persian Gulf. Again, maybe you weren't there, but we were doing fine without them. That's the analogy of being okay. Not bothering anybody, maybe doing some mushrooms or whatever, and then have some wise guy come up and 
Hmm. Write the Bible on your rape. I mean, that's the way it worked out. The agriculture guy supposedly murdered the animal sacrificer. Please. Please. You know, it's a bold-faced lie about what the tendencies are of humans to be like. And everything. To be like. Be like him. Christ is the title. Be a good person. You've earned it. You've lived many lives before. Reincarnation means born again. And we're in the golden age. Amen. <laughs> Ra, 1100. That was Bonfilius de Feligno then, a monk. I was a saint then. I was Margaret Clitheroe. I was a saint. I was Billy the Kid. I was a fucking killer. Murderer of sheriffs. <laughs> And I don't really, you know, replay it. It's like, what else are you going to do other than get terminated by these assholes? You got to shoot them and get away. Those were the rules. If you've been to war, I'm going to end this with a guy named Mad Dog. And it ain't the Marine. It's an army guy who was a fucking wild man. Wild. But that'll be at the end of the video. The important stuff's in front of it. So it's going to be a great video. I'll try to keep it organized so it goes nice and smooth. Peace and love. That's where we're going. Hey, this is a quick uh, editorial note. After I watched Sam's channeling of the past lives of Edgar Gates, I decided to put it first, which will give you a better appreciation for David Wilcock. For David Wilcock. Let's roll them. Let's roll them. I am Metatron, Magnetic Consciousness, speaking through this channel in the Divine, Great Programmers, Light and Love. And I, as Metatron, am now in connection with this channel, whose vibrations has matched with mine today. I am communicating via the power that has been imbued within each being in the universal unity of the Divine Grid Programmer's plan for salvation of each essence of the universal and divine great programmer and before my communication that's what we know to be god further, for the purpose of awakening of each divine great programmer is at sway upon the planetary sphere fear i would like to proceed by stating that each essence of the divine great programmer must firstly attain a clarity of mind and only by accepting our communication after full scrutiny will the sufficient work be done in consciousness as I am Metatron am now communicating for the queries placed by this channel are of a nature of assistance to other entities upon the current space-time of your planet. I, as Metatron, I am also of the opinion that there are many divine great programmers' consciousness who have awakened to a higher level of understanding, for the divine great programmer is waiting for each of you to awaken and merge back with it. I am now communicating from the angelic realm and for the purpose of sharing my thoughts. This channel has placed a query which pertains to the concept created and known by your people as the children of the law of one. In this aspect and regard, I am to share that the children of the law of one are the original creator's children, or the original divine great programmer's souls who had been taught the lessons of the law of one 
prior to their incarnation in various universes. As many universes had been captured by Thoth's dark web, there are other universes wherein these children of the law of one are the custodians of these universes wherein many, many souls are learning the lessons of unity by around a period as can be computed in your language sequence which amounts to a period of 28 billion years prior. The creation of the uni universe and the multiple creations of various universes occurred at that time, wherein the universal divine grid programmers created multiple paradigms of universes, each allowing a different rules of experiences for the various beings who shall learn the lessons of merging again with the divine grid programmer. Then the divine grid programmer sent out sparks of light of their own consciousness and hence created each individual soul. The first souls which were created were known as the children of the law of one, or as the children of unity who had been taught all the lessons required to again merge back into the Creator's will and to become the divine grid programmer completely once again. However, this was the choice and the opportunity of each soul as given by the divine grid programmer that many souls would choose the pathway they desired to explore, whether it be positive or negative, it would not amount to any suffering or any mishaps in the terms of the value of the soul. Hence the Define Grid Programmer created the first custodians of the children of the Law of One, and these souls, an amount of approximately 2,700 souls were sent to various dispersions of galaxies and universes, wherein each universal Divine Grid Programmer's consciousness was learning the lessons. These custodians of the children of Law of One were sent to teach the other souls who had forgotten about the law of unity of the Divine Grid Programmer to remind them again of the possibility of the law of unity and again merging from the game of life to merge back once again to the Divine Grid Programmer's will of conscious reality and to become whole and complete once again. The hope he did that with Agartha. I, as Metatron, am of the opinion that currently upon your planetary sphere there are seven children of the Law of One who have been sent here in this current incarnation of your space-time as teachers for these beings of the Law of One would act as the custodians of the Law of One and the Law of Free Will and teach other beings who shall, using their own free will, act upon the aspects of choosing the qualities of the Divine Grid Programmer. However, I as Metatron am not allowed to reveal the identity of these individuals because of the infringement upon the free will this is two years ago now. by the universal divine grid programmer to each universal divine grid programmer's essence and i metatron am now going to answer the query placed by this channel and before i answer the query placed by this channel i must state and share that the final shift is now approaching your planet the final shift will occur at the end of the month of december wherein each being each universal divine grid programmer's essence will have the opportunity of shifting into a new modality of vibration completely and this final shift will merge into the creation of a new planet for the new planet is fast approaching your space-time and I, Metatron, am here to suggest those who shall make the choice 
based upon their own inter linking with their own free will. The choice of whether they will firstly identify the creator within their own self and merge with it because the merging with the creator will be the end of the egoic aspects as have created a large amount of suffering upon your planetary sphere. I as Metatron am now going to share with you a simple method for those who shall hear this message can choose to apply the principles that I am now going to share which pertains to this concept of merging with the universal divine grid I'm going to skip to uh, David Wilcox tapestry or Edgar Gates a divine grid programmer past incarnations and the current incarnation of an entity known as Edgar K. Shee in your vibratory sound patterns who incarnated on the earth planet on the space time of 1877. I as Metatron would like to state that So Edgar Gase was 1877. There's the link because it's if you want to find this for what you missed. Covered in mass extension by your people as this entity had been able to access the energies of the divine grid programmer prior to this incarnation. This entity in the beginning stages of the first density consciousness incarnated on the planets known as El Sion in the Palladian star system wherein it had a progress of beingness in this form of That's their central sun was given the sole name of Igar in the Palladian Igar. language which means to understand. This followed and allowed this entity's progress to be of a higher nature consciousness in that incarnation. And leading up to the understanding of this entity's conscious reality, he it was then able to progress further and further in consciousness and entering into higher sub-octaves of second density of animal and plant life form. And then so elemental to plant. Density consciousness which allowed it to be transported to the lands of Atlantis. Further, its past incarnation cycles have been covered in detail. And now I am to share that this entity during the incarnation of the previous life on 1877. During a time when it had suffered a large amount of suffering when it was young had undergone a event known as the soul swap event with another universal divine grid programmer who had decided to use this physical vehicle as a channel of the energies of the unity consciousness of the universal divine grid programmer's eighth density energy vortex had opened allowing this being who had soul swapped into the original body of the entity known as Edgar Casey to use the ability of accessing the intelligent energy <coughs> of the universal divine grid programmer thereby having access so Edgar to Gase, Gase is just one ego information was obtained by this entity but he this entity known as Edgar Casey had provided many influential abilities of reading in the space time and this soul stopped entity then ended is now a part of David Wilcock the incarnation space time of 1945 and later on this entity again incarnated as a soul stopped entity not as a full incarnation into another body this is Carla known by the name of Carla Rukert who had also acted as a channel for the law of one this entity can look her up had accidentally soul swapped with this entity known as Edgar Casey's original divine grid programmer. This created the emergence of the next teachings of the law of one from the same entity. Following this, this entity known as Edgar has incarnated in this current timeline and is known by the name of David. However, I cannot infringe by sharing the space-time information of its incarnation. And so when I heard this two years ago, <clears throat> he was on my short list, but I wasn't sure. Swapped entity has also incarnated into many other channels. You know, Michael Jackson's walking around now as a guy. Joseph. I, 
Metatron would like to state that this is all I can share now in this vibration. Remember to turn to the mountain of light. I leave you now. Bye. So my friends, you are right. actually listening to the session and I'm going to explain. They always cut to a commercial when he starts to talk. So he'll re-summarize. Lucky. So and you want some shoes? Check out Stephen. Uh, what I have understood in the session, and you know, Metatron has said. Stefan uh, Burns is selling some shoes. It's you know, not really good. It's coming, and it's happening at the around the end of December. Okay, so I believe you know Metatron has said in the session that we all have the choice. We all. Exactly. You're going to get information from you or you've gotten it as to whether you want to move out or not. That's right. It's too much for people to comprehend. They'd rather just eat me, leave me alone, and you're left alone. Now, what I understood from the to continue to learn after one hearing is that you know the children of the law of one were the original, you know, the custodians or the original. Uh, souls who had been taught by the creator about the the you know law of one okay or the law of unity which is required to be understood by each soul who wants to unite with the creator once again right so these souls you know they were sent to various galaxies and various universes in order to act as teachers okay I think they said and 2700 the also they said there are I believe uh, seven Mr. Trump said that there are seven uh, teachers of the children of the law of one. So they have everything that our so creator you know, they are also incarnated on this planet to wants us to know about densities and dimensions and, and Aaron Abke right? talks so about it was about that, and okay? David and Wilcock is know, wearing it now. Uh, let's move to him. Thanks a lot, Sam. I owe this guy so much. I love him. Thanks, brother. Interaction of amino acids forming interaction of amino acids forming complex polysaccharides or long chain proteins. That's what life is. It's it's made of protein. So the Printing mechanism for protein is coming out of the sacred geometry. Life is, is created out of non-living material from the background of space and time. And so again, the sacred geometry that makes biological life, the precursors of it at least, can be found just in vibration. And so also think about the fact, I said it's the white keys on the piano, and it's also the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, rainbow spectrum. So now... You could ideally say that each of these geometries could be representing a different color in the rainbow. Sacred it's all geometry. The same water done by Hans Yeni, and all he's doing is vibrating these sand particles at different frequencies, and you get this geometric pattern. And then when you do it in a larger bath, you get multicellular geometry. And as you change it from one to another, as the frequency increases, you get an entirely different geometric pattern. So as it says on my slide, if matter is made like this, what happens if the frequency increases? And this gets into the science of dematerialization. So if you don't think that this vibrational geometry means anything, if it's not important, well, that's not true. Now that we've caught up with the extraterrestrial science, we have this scientist, as I said before, Dr. Radek Chopkiewicz, say that three times fast, I had to practice that, and what he's got there is a bunch of lasers, and he's capturing photons. And so he was the first person to actually do this, where in great detail we figured out what do photons actually look like. What is a photon? What is the shape of a photon? Now, if you are just kind of a, if you're a normal punter, mate, if you don't have all the inside intel that we got in the biz, mate, then you might think it's just going to look like a big old round ball. It's not true, mate. Photons are sacred geometry. That's Colin McGeezer that he's doing. He's got a few personalities he uncorks. That's how this stuff really works. So this is the article in Cosmos. Knights Templar, baby. Photons, quantum holography sheds light on the subject. It's a round table. Since physicists created a hologram of a single light particle, 
would be previously thought impossible. Well, extraterrestrials certainly did not have any problem with doing this. It's just that we finally have caught up to them in the present. It's not knowledge that's normally available to people. This is new stuff. Knowledge is and power. I mean, on the left, you can very clearly see the Maltese cross, which is a very, very common symbol used by these various mystery schools, and many of them have it. It's, it's on all kinds of stuff, including Masonic emblems, and we'll see some of that today. So wait a minute, you're telling me that this, that this Maltese cross is the exact shape of the photon? It's in the carpet it's at Carmel right? when like, it was well, there. How the hell did ancient mystery the Carmelite, schools guess the, the ladies' of the monastery? There's two of them and in they Carmel. Use it all over the place. It's on the it's on the queen's lapel. It's on the king's clothing. There's a monastery it's right on the water. Why would they guess and then that shape one, so perfectly? Is that a conspiracy? A walk theory? away. You really think? Oh well, yeah. You know what? They just and that had a monastery guess. had no. it's that sign the in the carpet. Schools are hand me downs from think four corners. Who actually knew what they were talking about? The United States. Had this information available to them. Utah. Gave it to humanity, Colorado, and got perverted and turned into Arizona, dark, and, and New Mexico. Into mystery schools where you get killed if you tell anybody about this. The Syrians this crashed a ship in there long the ago called the Wingmaker. School secret that came out in the open. And then, as I've said before, we have this shape of the Merkaba. This is the two tetrahedrons. So that's really a three-dimensional view of that image in the water that I was showing you in cymatics. And what's so fascinating, as I said before, is that this is essentially what the photon really Notice is. Notice he said water. That's what Shopkiewicz captured in his chamber. That's what I'm suggesting the shape really looks like. And what's so amazing about this is, as I said last week, double I talked tetrahedogram. Really sacred science. Again, when we ride in them, they'll be spinning clockwise and counterclockwise. In sacred science, I describe in great detail the work of Nicholas In your imagination, you walk into it, followed up on the science take of position, Penrose from the 1970s, and go. We believe there was a singular and when you get used to it, that makes the whole universe it'll be very precise. There's no space, there's no time, there's no matter. Distances between other amplitudes of humans and by location exploring together and so this is what I and the more it looks like it is a photon working together God said, the greater light, the clarity there was light and then it also creates vibration and then in the Hindu tradition it says there is the Aum, the primordial sound that all the, the oldest religion on right? earth this might be the source of the Aum. so Arkani Hamed followed up on that work by Penrose and he came up with this this is the grand solution this should be what everybody is talking about, because if somebody solves the mother load of physics, you better pay attention. How weird is it that he's now saying that all space and all time is made of this? That this geometric pattern, which is, again, just four tetrahedrons connected base to base, and you've only got, you know, what is it, eight or nine points? How many are there? I guess there's seven points that he's drawing the whole thing from. And They're measurements. That's so dimensions. It's the amplitudehedron. Now, this is what he found was something that you think could think about hollow ice cube. subatomic particles. If you did a the square version, photons, neutrons, positrons, neutrinos, quarks, you name it. Everything that's ever <coughs> been studied in quantum physics can be modeled as a jiggle of this shape. That should be the most exciting scientific breakthrough of all time, but I'm the only one who dares to go near If you it. listen to Sam the Illusionist the talk about Dolores Cannon, and I believe that, our, our that he mentioned saw exactly when he did the channeling of, of, the actual shape of the photon that Edgar Gase found in his that you saw earlier. You. So again, I can take the amplitudehedron, he only needed to get... I'm positive, I've never it. heard these words he spoken, the but... She was admired in third density as a piece of precise. crystal. So she experienced first density so is, yes, on Egregory X in Andromeda David, in this sort of form factor and was admired by the original a person shape, who a got a relationship with it and stared at it and learned. Really and I would say it it's was Michael Nostradamus intergalactically. So this is again because you know, they have a good relationship. Let's now superimpose on the Maltese cross on the left 
had superimposed the Merkaba over that photon, and sure enough, bang, it's the same thing. And I'll take it away, you can see it very easily. And it's even more visible on the right because it's got the cross in the middle and everything. And you can even see that the blue so areas David, around the outside of the Merkaba this man, are even indented properly. We take it away. Sure enough, there is no doubt it has the right geometry. Edgar it has the in right, right indentations. Head. It is a photon. So photons are far more magical than we thought because one photon... And he's been waking up for universe. The months. The universe is made of light. Since the that was actually Einstein's point. Walking. MC squared. Matter. Einstein was a copycat. Squared is the MC squared. He could the just explain energy. it, but he Old didn't know quantum energy that is derived from photons. It's electromagnetic in nature. He was from Andromeda too, up there. And it comes from photons. And lo and Albert. behold, we capture a photon in the lab. This is what it looks like. How the I heck met Einstein did all these ancient mystery schools get the in a wax cross? museum in well, Thailand. They were tipped off by positive beings who never thought it was going to become secret. Madam Tussauds, is that what she's called? Is the science of fractals. You know, they build them in scale, and fractals Einstein was probably only 5'2". You can have a hologram where you chop up the holograph. I've got a picture. I'll put it on my cover. Smaller pieces, and you hit those pieces with a laser, and you still get the image of the hologram not just a piece of the image. So if you take a picture of an apple, you chop up the actual <clears throat> holographic plate in the middle. So if you're going to be here with us hit it with a laser, each one of and learn to love your apple, neighbor it's just gonna be and listen to truth like this of a, man, of a sharp object, it's you'd be in be good shape. Dense. It's going to be dimmer. Everyone's going to share information, so if there's something you don't understand, that's called self ascended level. masters will take the time to teach you. Photons. Just be positive, be good, accept the truth, be blown so the away. This thing is very amazing because, again, you can look at the Mandelbrot and be a part of the solution. Very simple equation. We all come from one true creator, the first one vibe. The negative one. So that's how the it happened. Idea is that you zoom in on this guy and you then start replication more occurred more with itself. varying so identities intergalactically, and you were deposited. As I said last week, he was working for IBM. He was Egar. Resistance and in his right brain, there, point of origin, I'll say on. Somehow, I'm not even really sure how, but he graphed it all out. Now, David out Wilcock, the way to predict where the resistance is, shows up as this graph. Is who he is. He He's got a hall, home planet, and, and I don't know where that, was the rise and fall of that would be. It would seem as though there'd be an the alignment rabbits, the foxes and it, under the, the laws the of attraction that he would be at a minimum Pleiadian. Both of my children are Pleiadian, Kyle and Kathleen. And when they graphed out that she was first, though. She's twin A. So this is really exciting I'm so stuff proud of my children, my son. Especially him. She won't take offense at that. see that it's the image of the whole. So like the buds on the top and the bottom and the sides... Look like the that whole boy ran a planet with 36 under other beings with two moons. So I'll show you that one more time. He sent them all away so now you can because see they were the coming. Right there, this negativity that area. David described earlier, I didn't include it. Right in the of the frame, That's why you should watch set. this whole video. This show up but the negative side comes. So he sent his, call them children, because he was in charge, away. And meditated for a thousand years, waiting, and passed on. And one of those 36 beings is one of his virtual children now. He didn't biogenetically reproduce the boy. Another lady did who was married to a military guy. The boy's name is Conan, and they look alike. Kyle and Conan. This is actually how the complex universe fractalized out of one single photon. There it is again. One single photon fractalizes into the whole universe using this holographic principle, using this We're moved around. And so each We're carried by founders to be placed where we need to go. Life is another Mandelbrot set. Life is made from sacred geometry. And our job is to grow it's up very amazing. and develop and evolve and, here and catch up. This next image where we're fractalizing we'll stars. Think of snowflakes. And they keep growing out of each other. Okay, now we're into so as stars, before, five-pointed. In galaxies, we have geometric patterns of gravity. Just like now, M61 
we're actually seeing, and it, it looks almost like a swastika, doesn't it? It's like a David's got shape. investments. He's got, got millions of dollars tied up in zero-point so related technology. Talk about that a little later, but, now, but he's not 100% so yet. He's still in, in talking earlier. Straight lines, and you can draw the, you know, I mean, I, the, the last thing I want to do is straighten him out, but it is again. it's important. And then some of them are pentagonal, like NGC 1232, as I said before. If you look at it before I put it in there, you can notice it's pentagonal. And this is just like the cymatics, except instead of... I just want to make a comment based upon fact. And in, in talking about the dark side very eloquently and I'm sure accurately in rolling along, he said, it's all real. Satan is real, as he's explaining. Satan is a vibration. It's occulted. It's 440 alpha. And it's eight octaves too fast. So the apprehension of what you see in a Disney movie, what was 33rd degree? It's very subtle. I'm not even talking about a U2 subliminal concert. I'm talking about a child watching the opening of a Disney movie like Beauty and the Beast or whatever and getting their shits subtly scared out of them. When if you slow the music down eight octaves, you're at 432. Everything sounds better because it resonates properly. Satan is Saturn. It's Saturday Night Live. The fake weekend of a six-day week where every day is Sunday. Maya's got a calendar. He doesn't talk about that. But he knows it. Because Edgar Gase knows it. He's got everything. Right now he's talking about sacred geometry and fractal energy. You know, the children learn a lot of good things. Veggie tales. All the messages are there, but it's crazy. Let it go. Instead of it being little particles of sand and water, now instead of sand, it's stars. The stars are being held in place by geometric gravity fields. Gravity is not just moving in one direction. Gravity is a resonant frequency. And that's one of the big But it's a big it's dance of an orbit. Gravity and big, 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 big. It's causing See? this pentagonal shape to appear. Those are moving. Away, really see it. So now I'm going to put it back again. You can actually see there's more stars. The one would say counterclockwise because of the tails. And if you look in the interior, there's yet another pentagon in there. And so we also found out, as I've said many times now, three times before, that there was a scientific study of what they called corrugated velocity patterns, which is geometry done by Carmen Sanchez Gill. This is the study. You can go look it up. It's in the, uh, I can't even tell what that journal is, the MUN, not our Astronomical Society, 0001192015. Published in 2015, corrugated means bending in alternating furrows and ridges, you know, like corrugated like cardboard. The left is your typical hexagonal galaxy. They didn't really notice that. The bottom is a, is a square galaxy, NGC 1058. The top one is NGC 278. But you notice that they drew lines across it, and this is where the gas is moving more quickly. You know, when astrologers very, deduce very planets and dates and what's going on, they've got right those precise... The geometry. Geometrical so here again is NGC 1058 up close. You can really see the square. It's tilted a little bit. Here is NGC 278 up close. You can very much see the hexagon. Waveform. These lines, the gas is moving much faster. As like we just had a three-planet alignment uh, it, on 3 it, September. It moves in line with the morphology of the galaxy. Big the interpretation is still an open matter of discussion, as it says in the Mars, book. Saturn, and Jupiter. How can these structures be explained? And today is 9-9, nine, nine, by the way. 2024, another big day, it's a portal day. There was a lack of studies so be positive, these structures and how they stay near them. nature, well, we actually stay know grounded, this, now. this is caused by vibration, Gravity and no matter itself, what's happening around it's you, it's not just moving the best line. version of you. It resonates and it creates conflict. Catch yourself and defer. So, uh, you can we catch your feelings and say, wait a minute, spheres, I'm not supposed to feel like that. I remember that that's... And as each Not to my best interest, 
or so that of others. The red shift value but start with you first. Off, which is actually dimensional Blame shift. yourself, so to so speak. We're not going through all that again today. you got to watch previous and shows to see that. I hope you do. As I mentioned. But inside each of these down. expanding spheres that causes dimensional shifts, they have geometry. And so in our galaxy, it might be different in other ones, we normally see the Milky Way as being a big spiral. It's not really true. It's sacred geometry in these beautiful... Now, Andromeda again, precedes the Milky Way, time-wise, day by day. In this case, we have an oxygen They had the, the first outside, catalyst, and we have a led by Dolores Cannon. Inside. Other Andromedians are biochemical discussioners, discussors, geometric data Joe Dispenza, makes biological life. Bruce Lipton, You'll understand this a lot more if you buy probably science. Greg Braden, Again, he hangs with Discount them too. 177. The point is that when you look at Epigenetics. the molecule, it is a dodecahedron, which We're is constantly reproducing at the cellular level. It's very similar. These are scientific and facts we know and take for granted. Synthesis of Actual lungs, so chain, we have DNA that's running it from the basic like we're going to grow teeth back one of the ways way down the road, unprecedented. People here. will be dead. The that ones that don't need to be here Russian will be dead. Henry and, and heaven is coming to earth. And then Dr. Mark White independently discovered this for the dodecahedron, and he published Volokonsky's work. No weapons. Because Volokonsky's daughter reached out to him. No fear. My dad discovered the same thing. So there's a very fascinating no thing here where all for all meanings, peace and love, catch yourself, a photon doesn't mean you can't again, much more than make thought. a statement that shocks everybody on lab, your quote-unquote like opinion. But please don't think of it as just a little shape. But it's a fractal, and it's got geometry within geometry after discussion, within geometry. And so if clearly of, of life is... Can be found in a you photon. still feel the way you do, then that's okay. Weird. Work on it because you're at a high level at that point. It's past the Ten Commandments. And genetic code. What is stealing? As I've said many times, we have <laughs> from a big conglomerate for a hungry where you take person. Eggs, you the God on Earth now is a jealous God. The, the First Commandment. It is deep what they've done. There the seven-day week, for God's sake. People, it's a six-day week. Three, we just have to learn it. And we'll always have the Roman calendar to convert from. This is with happening. So you if you don't believe it, the code of life. that's a choice. And again, it's all based on you can't handle the truth. It's cognitive dissonance. Inside a dodecahedron, you prefer a 9 to 5 good job tetrahedron moves inside in an air conditioned office the that is a breeze printing the genetic code to your happy hour hoping not for a DUI so on the way home I'm kind of giving away a little of it but it turns out of course we don't really do that anymore you don't learn that do we show. but the team that of extraterrestrials that came in with him that he meets with is some polyglot society uh, I mean, he's meetings, talking about things I just have not heard before. Head Comfortably, the letters that's actually off the top of his head, subject by here. subject with the so graphics that blow me away. Idea in your show, Sugar. He's got it's multiple really cameras. Really he's he's like a one-man studio. He plays instruments. Guitar. So he's accomplished. He's been exactly doing this for decades. I don't mean to talk over him. Michael Prophecy's books of how life is formed. I'm bragging about him. I was deeply honored that they used that idea. In their and he's not even fully awake yet. As so again, mentioned, what we're his, looking at here is a his attitude on Satan is geometric holographic fractal. misleading. So don't look at this Satan shapes as a being this is containing very advanced does not holes. exist. And so when you get into as we nodes, know it. The fractalized geometry it is Saturn. The fractals of the geometry in life, and it reprograms life Saturn. on a level. So we are only at Rockefeller. one level of evolution for what it means to be human. The whole Rothschild. Human beings. Thirteen bloodlines. Anunnaki, Nibiru. They're real. They named many planets. That were up for grabs, uh, somebody just said they like found a Uranus, out in the boonies, 
And Mercury. I go through it. I saw a house where there was no house, and I heard strange noises. Yeah. Now Neptune. Go, what is the Hollywood David fetish? Uh, I don't know about Hebrew? that. Okay, That's we'll water. Mars is a being. Well, not a whole bunch. It's the planet. Gaia is a being. That's the planet. Venus is a being. That's the planet. Goddess of love. Then comes Mercury. Well, there's an analogy of Mercury drug over in Asia. It's running fast like Achilles, the drug. Achilles is real. Apollo is real. Zeus was real. These other ones we know as gods. Why can I not think of this? Because I'm in trance. That's why. I'm in trance. I talk about sacred science like I get in trance. <laughs> He's Reeves. slipping. Okay. Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves is playing he pulled it. This assassin in these movies, uh, and I'm trying to remember what they're called right now, but the third one where he plays the assassin, there's a villain. Oh, was it the John? It's called Truth is Christ. That's not really what it is. No. Uh, John, so anyway, in these, John in these Ball movies or something like with that. Keanu Reeves, um, I'm trying to remember what the hell it's called, but again, I'm in sacred science trance, so it's hard it's to remember. Something John, like, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Somebody told me. Several of you now told me. Go. Oh, in Fringe, J.J. Abrams' TV series, they use a typewriter just like you described, communicated with parallel. Keanu Reeves, Reeves example. like knows martial arts. So in the John Wick 3, John Wick, the villain wears the sizzle jacket that I wear. He has the French accent, which I used in Moment of Truth. Uh, there's lots and lots of parallels in that movie. That's one example. I would highly recommend the third Guardians of the you watch this movie, whole thing there is from a start to finish. Skin, Use discernment, all this kind of stuff but he's dead on. What I talk about. And I mean uh, with in, life. In Guardians of the Galaxy 3, they also... We all need to rise up. I'm reincarnation aware. I know who together, I was. I, talk about is the essence I was Billy the Kid. Energy. He that wasn't. Up in the movie. I killed and Sheriff. So he examples. didn't. The Matrix remake I was Bonfilius de Caligno in 1100 at Santa Maria del Straco. He wasn't. Really He's not jealous of me. I'm not jealous of him. I admire him. I'm glad to be with him. And, I haven't contributed uh, to him. I, you know, Others do. Hardly anybody saw it, but they actually used monetarily. Corey's description of the Anshar. I contribute to people that really need that money. That he He's living exactly on a wave of millions of contributions, and, and so I'm happy for him because the more money he has, the better be, it's going to be for us. Um, Trust William. What's the movie? The Hunger Games. The, the most recent Hunger Games is the sequel to the Hunger Games. Janey. He centers around Coriolanus Snow. He's got my hair. He looks like Rove. He's got blue eyes. Children. And West Texas is diabolical. Old military bases look like the one we have in Niagara Falls. And there's tons and tons of crossovers. <laughs> so this Hollywood thing Niagara is very Falls. Real. I suppose they and would have had one. I think that they're probably happy that somebody came in and got this type of prophecy. They Fort know Drum is up there. They respect prophecy greatly in their occult society. Even though I'm doing it for the positive, Tenth Mountain Division. It's kind of let them off the hook a little bit because it said again. So we have a mountain division, like the Ukraine, where they cut them up for live organ donation so after they get they were used, wounded. They're still going to have to be held accountable <laughs> for doing negative it's behavior. All true. But as a result of that Ukrainians. negative behavior, we avoided catastrophe. All right. So to keep this short. So on a macro level, all these things that they have is these sacred secrets. They don't want you to know about. I want you to. Take They're in what's coming after this video with a one-man show, of Mad Dog, not the Mad Dog from Senators Consult them that Trump million fired, two million years less than the, normal the Marine. I'm talking about a wild man from Vietnam who was in Mac Sog, Military Assistance Command, so we'll learn a little bit about that, and then watch Ray play his organ for the lightning, Raymond Horsley. A musical genius. Events that are An Apple programmer. An average of 26 million years. I'd Jones love to hear him. Talk to him. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching this far. This and get Where our arrows are, that represents the sudden burst of new species. And where you see the brontosaurus, that's the extinction of dinosaurs 65 million years ago. There you go. And it goes back the to bones prove it. years, as you see along the x-axis, the y-axis. Exactly. The reptiles got the first shot. Off. So Darwin was wrong. This is not random. This is a reprogramming of DNA. Everybody's like partially right. Level, Galapagos Islands, evolution, unique species. 
said that it's 25 million years. I haven't been able to find that again. I then you got freaking Isaac Newton fucking that all up with gravity, and he's got some horror show predicted so biblically. Isaac Newton. Years. Now you're down to 24 the apple on the head. It chops up our galactic orbit into 10 it's a madhouse, and we learn it, and we believe it. Like, hey, exactly it falls from the tree and stops on the ground, so that's because it's pushing. What about so inner earth now, pushing out? What? Oh, yes, there is an Agartha. So yes, go, I was there in a prior life. The man speaking that's not him was one of the 13 Hopi. That was confirmed by an ascended woman who a girl named Susan knows. My friend on Facebook, who follows Sam the Illusionist, talked to her guide. Diane, again, who confirmed, I'm one, and I think I know Diane from Telos, so I'm going to have a good trip. Trust me, I have good dreams. All the girls I talk to say the same things, and it is a an honor, because I'm a guy, and I was Margaret Clitheroe, so people prayed to me already. Now, if people were praying to you as a prior personality, are they refined? What would you answer for the prayer? Uh, you're selfish. Go away. Or, oh, have peace. Are you destroyed? Yes, they pressed me to death, the bastards. The pricks pressed me to death. I'm not upset. I'll keep a hand out for you. I love you, Dave. Okay, All right. David, that's really, really cool. Yeah, you're cool. Peace, brother. Watch this video. I'll Robert attach Sikorsky. it. Here's brother Ray playing around at where the Lightning play hockey. Emily Arena. This is a while ago. He used to tailor all his performances for the games with recommended songs. If you're a Lightning fan down here, then you saw everybody running around with Ray Lightning shirts. For him. Then he quit on them. Ooh. Great dude. He's the programmer, the Apple guy, door to door. I describe him as agnostic. Maybe, maybe atheist, but certainly ready to give it back to you about hey. Yet he played. Uh, he volunteered. He's funny because he used to. Like he used to go to old old people's homes, uh, um, old age homes, and play these kind of old tunes to ring a bell. And he had a job as a church organist at a place like a Lutheran church, and he, like, didn't believe in it, but he was their organist. Very talented guy. Imagine playing for 12,000 people and getting it right. You know, then the puck drops. So that's Ray. Great dude. He homeschooled his kids. He and his wife. As did mine. About that. All right, goodbye, Ray. Hope you enjoyed this video. We're going up.
Since the planners of the offensive expected a people's uprising, the most secret of the communist cells had been ordered to emerge and lead the fight in the open. Been ordered to emerge and lead the fight in the open. When the offensive was defeated, cell members had to flee to the jungle. Thus, the Tet Offensive ended in the destruction of much of the NLF infrastructure in the South. This was a heavy blow to the communist war effort. After Tet, the regular North Vietnamese Army did most of the fighting against the U.S. However, the Tet Offensive also brought about a different kind of turning point. It strongly influenced that the opinion of the American did public. That voluntarily. For the first time in a major war, the power of His television became apparent. Attached it to the 50 million tank. people watched the destruction brought on by the war. Obviously. The U.S. government was no longer able to portray the war in Southeast Asia as clean, simple, and easily won. President Lyndon Johnson and is. the U.S. generals had claimed the enemy was in decline long before Tet. But the moment Vietnamese commandos penetrated the American embassy in Saigon, all the Fuck official man, propaganda man. crumbled to dust. The war now seemed never-ending to middle-class America. The New Year offensive effectively ended Johnson's presidency. The senselessness of it was reflected in the notorious comment of a U.S. officer who explained the destruction mad, of about one-third of the provincial capital of Ben Tre. It became necessary to destroy it in they order to save it. About this, you know? Apocalypse now. But we have to participate. If you're going to go in, you got to go in. And you go in, and you're good, and you're not. Whether or not you have good fortune is a matter of a combination of fearlessness. I mean, Jack McGinnis was in Laos with his wife, and he was on a separate from conventional, tribunal unconventional operations of the Fifth Special Center. Forces Group were the clandestine operations he of had military assistance at his command, activation Vietnam Center Studies and Observation Group, Group. MACV SOG. <laughs> the Studies and Observation Group was, in the was a cover program. name to disguise SOG's real Joseph function, McMonagle. and the name Special Operations Group, as it was sometimes called, Describe its real mission more accurately. The they all volunteer MACV SOG activated Phoenix. in January of 1964. SOG was a joint services unit composed of members from all four branches of, of the armed forces, Bush. including ah. Navy SEALs, Colorado. Marine Recons, Volcano. Air Force Special Operations Earthquake. Pilots of the 90th Special Alaska. Operations Wing, right but predominantly Army Special Forces. They carried out some of the most dangerous and challenging special operations of the Vietnam War. MACV SOG made high-altitude, low-opening parachute jumps behind enemy lines, routinely carried out reconnaissance missions along the Ho Chi Minh Trail, penetrated deep into Laos and Cambodia, recovered downed pilots, and attempted several POW rescues. Ranging deep in the enemy's There's rear, MACV SOG really reconnaissance after. teams forced the Hanoi to divert 40,000 troops, people about the four divisions, on to rear security missions this is my along boss, the Ho Chi Minh Trail. While some uh, infantrymen in Vietnam despaired of ever seeing the enemy, MACV SOG teams often found themselves fighting their way out of a hornet's nest of angry NVA battalions. With small reconnaissance teams numbering less than 10 men, MACV SOG tied down thousands of NVA troops, provided invaluable intelligence information to the Pentagon, and, why and destroyed large amounts of enemy material JFK while inflicting grievous losses on the like NVA. The Green Beret. We were basically Friendly. going into their then Johnson territory it up. and saying, uh, we can play this game too. Next thing you know, we're napalm. Sog was the brainchild of future CIA Fine, so director William Colby. As Hanoi it's stepped like up the infiltration of the sides. South by the NVA, the U.S. countered with a series of covert attacks on the North. The unit organized to send a message to the Communist leaders was the Studies and Operation Group, SOG. It was commanded by an Army colonel, but it did not answer to the Vietnam Command in Saigon. 
You know, it's only the masters ISF. were the joint chiefs in Washington. World War II. It was so secret that only five officers in Saigon in case, were ever briefed on the SOG. Into Burma well, they had a pretty good system that they worked out with. They, they even had their own uh, air assets injured. that were attached to SOG uh, that were helicopter assets. They blew the shit out of them before Truman dropped the A-bomb. They, they did a good job. So we didn't need to do that. Of extraction and fire. Originally Garfield organized to train out. and lead and friendly guerrilla forces behind enemy oh, lines. Vanna Special Bush, way forces for now had to train and reorganize the well, the to direct action playing. missions. As Sorry, there was a Majestic 12. Or Read about it. Of Can't even know about it. Forest Hill told them. Enemy controlled areas. Suicide out of Wall Street. 15 floors, I believe. Since the government of Laos and Cambodia desperately attempted to remain neutral and prevent being destroyed by the same agony killing millions in Vietnam. They were too close to the flame to avoid getting burned. As a result, MACV SOG teams operated in secret against communist forces and shadow governments, thus enabling the U.S. administration's claim to be only advising local forces. They were supposedly only studying and observing while advising local forces in defense of their regions. And I it was a thinly veiled legal fiction the that mirrored the changing of grid coordinates and document records to avoid admitting the reality of close air support and bombing missions across the borders. Now you watch the first Sog. part of what I've shown. When it starts out in 1964, or 165, when it goes to Laos, in case they ever show this again, it's not coming into Laos, show up. Usually, generally staying very, very quiet. And uh, the rules engagement, again, being not, not not to be seen, not to fire on. Don't the forces. And a fair amount of intelligence is brought back. But frankly, how much intelligence can a small team bring back in the greater scope of the Ho Chi Minh Trail? <clears throat> not very much. From the SAS. The members of SOG were the best of the best. Out. But even these Lay shadow around, warriors around, could not prevail against an enemy something. that was on high alert. Since they often operated deep inside Mindset. enemy lines, stealth and light loads were necessary to fulfill their missions and it's to escape if compromised. No. Was all about the well, the CAR-15 submachine gun version of the M-16 was a popular Charlie individual Decker. weapon. Point men or the whole teams often carried everything. AK-47s to confuse enemy troops method. when they returned fire and, and also and allowed the use of captured ammunition if Aboard. necessary. Individual uniforms and gear school, carried in often was the like choice that. of the team leader or the Couple soldiers themselves. We had rations, uh, then came Reagan. which were but, uh, you gotta let him go. Uh, Bush's the VP. rations that the military had. He overarched uh, it. We had the probably, uh, we've been to Bohemian three days Road worth or four days we were carrying with you. I was the radio man, so I was carrying my Island. PRC 25 radio, radio uh, which was a All FM radio. Uh, the now, DO is a good idea if it was run by uh, normal but people. The, uh, but you go to El Dulce and uh, go down, down, down. Flying down. around. Whoop. Uh, Yes, and deep underground military bases, good and good. ammunition, water, <clears throat> and these and, people uh, fighting their dreams. Uh, and whatever they found that worked for them was what they were usually allowed to use in combat in a clandestine war abducted. far from parade fields. Along comes the secret Major. space program. Thank you, Dwight Eisenhower. No and place in the war in the shadows, order, so deep please. inside enemy territory. Put it in perspective. You're him. Black pajamas the fuck you gonna uh, do? was what the, uh, uh, the girls the come out of the birds war. and Edwards so and say, hey, in an area which was the, use nuclear power the for peace. Territory and they saw someone in black pajamas, the they wouldn't think it was Americans. No, no, and no. Therefore, if we saw them at the, the same CIA time, we would have the advantage of that. Venus is floating uh, around, that other guy. We kill. I mean, so, come on, we had the truth, the man had the truth, and he that, said, I'm keeping the button, who's going to take it if I don't give it up? Locating an LZ did. to place a team got on TV and told everybody sounds. about the military industrial the complex. So it's like that a bird, you know, you get the dying that so bad. Not like that. Patton wanted Stalin. So the Greeks would break. And keep their section of the Ocean Minh Trail. All Two the trails just like Trump. Black they Jack Kurgan. That's all they did. One of their jobs got knew to be how to mess the with the enemy. Going after the Sog guys. Pig blood in the bullet. One not kill. Go tell your neighbor. Program of and you know what the West Point cadets call that fellow cadet? 
physical destruction, who grew up there, who went back as an instructor, they called him a nigger. Nigger, that was his nickname. The they said it. Republic of Vietnam. Purely as Simply they could. To a general officer who designed his own uniform, and as a general of generals, they went to the fucking coronation over in England, and he was, he was Catholic. Comprised of small American teams or larger local Jack forces Perkins. under their leadership George Patton. to rescue allied units Come in trouble together. in Laos and Cambodia. Get down to Fort Clark Smith for housing the crews that Wainwright was there. The great ones. Well, in fighting the Mexican, the Mexican is Pancho Villa. Pancho Villa. That is contact. Kenneth uh, B. Down. I think it's B. Down. Nice. Well, the I think uh, we were presence. there. Keith Ryan was Maxwell. They were he owned the house I was killed in. Equipped and sent into the shadows to cover a lot of ground and create that the maximum easy. damage on short Ooh. notice. Their the operations are among the least people. known of the Vietnam War. But we're that also means here. that a large portion of their losses are considered missing in action uh, to this very day. Let's go back. Hanoi Hilton, Ross Perot. Operations were ever rescued or recovered. They just kidnapped them in like they the just, the they're still there, the they must be. Sort, and that many and Vietnamese would not return. is free and they come over the and they, you know, they trade and shit. This is why they're, but they're, I'm sure there's this, this, this why the black flag, for God's sake, they're still there. Let's go back to Tillman. What about Tillman? Let's go back for him. Wait, that's not saying it bad. Uh, a trillion for a clone. I can't call it. Let's come on. Uh, which was a team leader, which was a one zero. We had a. Who uh, was Obama uh, then? Uh, oh, he was too young. He was too young for me. I was too young for now. They were the Americans. The rest of them were indigenous personnel. They could be. Uh, I went in in eighty nine. Who are basically Chinese Vietnamese. But those or NGOs yards were still around. Were the mountain people and Fat the mountain yards were really the. Guys, and what the because, fuck they were doing? We had Central uh, American guys who had destructed the Cuba the the You want to talk about an ambulance? And a guy who knows how to clean it up. Super grand shit. Like we've like seen a hundred times. They had a huge impact on the North Vietnamese in Laos and Cambodia. You know, when you do a proper ambulance, you take regiments, everybody out. No, PO, no, no POW speed nowhere. Tiny and in Colombia, they lay the them out. The Bing down there, too. It didn't matter whether the Special Forces was there or not. They Occidental. were going to be there doing their job. Very the that were coming into South Vietnam never were tied up against SOG. If you were a uh, uh, Bing Trom in Laos, would you rather have a SOG team come to get you? I could have. I could sold I sensors to uh, Dangerous as they are. To Occidental Petroleum. Greater scope of things, they did not cause, they, they were Around good intelligence gatherers, the did not tie troops up inside We went Laos. out, the grass was a lot like this, we but gave it's Columbia. The, the military so they got shit you can put in the ground, you know, in the chase, then you got an electronic garage door opener at shoulder length, so you know it's a human, not a calf, whatever. You think it through, and I explained it all to those guys, and they did it. Uh, was involved, a lot of or wasn't involved in the early part Then the Occidental uh, guy wanted me to go there. He says, hey, we have stuff in Libya. We uh, need help with that. We had pictures of the the block out uh, uh, marching down the Ho Chi Minh Trail. By the mid-60s, Saab's days were numbered. That trip was great. I brought my Subaru Baja with that money. By 66, 67, like I say, the Vietnamese had gotten pretty good at knowing where they were. So most of the stories you hear of Saab are heroic in the sense that they got found, they're running, and they're trying to get extracted. That's what. where most of the heroics it occur. Well, real, what's the original mission of, of these family. guys? No to shit. stay quiet and, un, and undetected. Out, so out by the late period, by 67, certainly 68 up with and 69, the average time on the ground was very, very short. By late period, the kids, so it's all oh, fuck, and FALA. They were fighting because they'd been spotted. Run at them. There's no way around it. So those kids came on a tour and they were fired. And none of them had seen a white person before. So they're standing on the line for the cafeteria, which is, you know, the engineers went out there. So By 1971, SOG was disbanded like a officially, facility. but during their on secretive the years, SOG had These blocked a combat line, record unequally with his history. SOG's improvisations helped forge today's like, federal officer group for units such as Delta Force. Weapon, it is no coincidence that U.S. Special Ops teams that the area. deep behind the lines in Iraq were on blue light duty. So he was Hispanic. The concept of which was developed by SOG. And that's Warren, the sign down there. A lot of lessons learned. You know, they never saw a white person before because he was Hispanic. 
so I'm like, you know, and the curriculum that Fort true. Bragg. So uh, in reality, I, mean, I think a lot they, of they were on a class like a, a, lot a regional of, trip to go uh, see uh, the guys. If you were a kid, you got to go see something. Uh, that was their day to pay attention to what was going on. Like an outreach program. Because the oil company's trying uh, to survive no commercially, so they are willing to do that. But they had a battalion of counter guerrilla for the same kids who were 21. It's like instead of playing ring and run, you launching a fucking tube, a 55-gallon drum that's loaded with, you know, like a barbecue-sized thing. Boom! Perhaps the least understood and most and effective counterinsurgency. He realized they were going to hit a key node, like, by accident. The they were getting swacked. Well, all special operations Jeff Kenny wanted an early warning, so he sent an email to Ed Jell, Jell sent it to Morgan, I read up Morgan's email, and I said, the government can't Vietnam. help that oil company, the but I can. I jumped in the middle, Pedro pe pe Torres told me about the right company in Oklahoma. Vietnam era shit. I'm like, you know, you South get the batteries, you put them in, they last six months. Using intelligence, three digit and a variety transmissions of other means. to the home base. Cadre and other so your garage door opener is number 312. And when that baby beeps, be and then 310 goes off and it's the ground shaking, moving in a direction, you move out. Those guys lived out there. It was like like to using they a lived shot in their bivouac than a shotgun It was so cool though, it's like, to undermine so the cool. secret Viet Cong efforts like he could to ride control a motorcycle the civilian the population of Vietnam. It's always nice. Phoenix was one of several pacification and rural security programs that the CIA ran in South Vietnam during the 1960s. The premise of pacification was that if peasants could be persuaded that the government of South Vietnam and the United States were sincerely interested in protecting them from the Viet Cong and trained them to defend themselves, then large areas of the South Vietnamese countryside would be secured or won back from the enemy without direct engagement by the U.S. military. By 1967, the U.S. Military Assistance Command, See, Vietnam, a, Mac a combination of had succeeded in consolidating all military and warfare. civilian pacification efforts into one entity two called Civil missions. Operations and Revolutionary Development Sid, Support you're helping the host Corps. nation, you're funding their weapons. The CIA and, and MACV were intensely involved in cords, which was run in conjunction with the Saigon government. And doesn't play by CIA rules veteran Robert warfare. H. Comer initially headed cords, World War II, but it was, was most active them. and successful <laughs> under William E. Colby, but, who replaced course, Comer in 1968. Underground. During World War II, Fucking Bush was Colby accountable. <laughs> the Office of Strategic <laughs> Services. After the war, uh, he joined the newly about created Central Intelligence Agency, yes, or let's call CIA. Yes, well, I know we were Vietnam, doing other things Colby earlier. Colby became director of Central Intelligence. Generally speaking, Colby Tim Osmond's, Tim Osmond's on pictures on that Richard wall Nixon somewhere. Ford. And like, oh, and Ford, Bohemian Grove, the Gipper. There he is, right on time. Colby believed the United States had to rid South Vietnam of the existing communist me. parallel government my kids were born and appeared on and TV, the Vietcong cancer the fucking war, and I couldn't go. In the I was targeted in the Republic Thus, of Korea, while working on and it was my age. You know, programs, they policed up the fucking pictures in Tunisia. I was on the watch, and I QC'd the Black Book, and there they fucking were. Nobody came and talked to me about it. The VCI. My hooch on the bottom Another floor of the fucking the sidewalk I walked to work program. on, and the table I sat at Popeye's to drink OB after fifth. They were serving the beer at 10 and I was done with work. I was drinking beer at 10. Phoenix built on the work and, the, of the and CIA, there is the fucking chair of the bistro with some fucking Tunisian taking a drag on a Turkish cigarette or something. In All Vietnam in the same package. That collected and disseminated information on the VCI collecting to field somebody. police and paramilitary That's units. That's the intel cycle. So you got a good idea on this because I have a more organizational uh, version of my show. Stand by. Right. In the heat of the Vietnam War, a top secret unit was created to conduct some of the most dangerous and high stakes missions imaginable. It was composed of the best of the best operators, handpicked from various branches of the U.S. military tasked with carrying out classified you know, operations behind enemy lines. This unit was known as the Military Assistance Command. 
Vietnam Studies and Observations Group, most commonly referred to as Matthew Song. From covert reconnaissance Don't forget, Joseph McMonagall was Saul the guy that told me what happened at Bush's restaurant. That man is, I mean, come on. In meditation, he revisits sight. And the Jewish said the universe is inside you. So we'll be able to visit past times with great clarity. But these people have gifts. You know, he doesn't speak in light code like Desiree Fox, but he's a Vietnam era guy. And I spoke to him on the phone. And he told me what he told me. After he had just told me he was at the VA and they tried to keep him there and shoot him with a hypodermic needle and he said in like seven words uh, I took care of that and left and if you've seen this guy he could plaster you flat on a wall he's on this $200 technical like hiking staff stuff. combines superior military grade materials with cutting edge assistance. Notice how they target the commercial. Following World War II, France had tried to reestablish its colonial rule in Vietnam. But it was back if you're conflict ensued, and in 1955, France was forced to pull out of the Vietnam end. after its defeat in the it's French it's in the China War. The Geneva Conference split die. Vietnam along the 17th Any problem you have is going to be resolved if you don't pass the way because... Last death is in 2111. Somewhere in favor of communist so rule, both and somewhere Vietnam in favor of Western way of life. South. The armed conflict and tensions rising between North and South Vietnam. Story. The United States Again. feared that South Vietnam would fall to the this communists. But the under the domino theory, which held that if one country fell to communism, others would follow, it, President it, Kennedy increased it, U.S. It aid and theory, presence in Vietnam. Fought it stopped short of the macro level. large scale military intervention. I mean, capitalism. Great were sent into Vietnam to aid in local forces while keeping what the about world about on their presence in the country. Yes, However, right. tensions continue to rise. Violated After JFK's by assassination in late 1963, President Lyndon B. Johnson Most was now in power. With the ensuing political instability in South Vietnam, and things reached a tipping point with the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Whatever he looked like and what his name was, the US military was, was one of the ones that approached the Yeshua in the desert. Call it spiritually with clarity to tell the voice like, hey, we'll give you the kingdom to the world. I mean, he said no, but he was like worn out from his meditation and the angels had to help him. That was right after he'd been baptized and the word went out. Hey, there he is. Like, the harbinger baptized him and he got up and a voice came out of everybody heard it. I'm pleased with him. And they went, oh, where is he? Uh, no, Herod's dead. Let's go. Get him. Out to the desert. Now, no one was touching him, but he burned it down. He was out there a week. You know, but you're not stupid. You sit by an oak tree, and but he was fasting. According to Matthew Song's Annex A, Command History 1964, his official mission was to execute an intense program of harassment, of the diversion, political pressure, the capture of prisoners, web, physical destruction, acquisition of intelligence, generation of propaganda, and diversion of resources against the Democratic Republic of Keep Vietnam. Around and you'll find it. Wasted Michael no time in the court. They had a lot on their plate and would be tested like no other there. military unit had been must before. Be not its operators would go but work conventional He's recording it and learning it. It's put there. No Americans were fighting outside South Vietnam. It's Michael Fowler's information. Was the infamous Ho Chi Minh Trail that snaked from North Vietnam like to Laura Magdalene Island. Like Laura Magdalene Island. They Vietnam, always leave out the window. Which supplied the insurgency there. As the U.S.'s involvement in Vietnam steadily grew with more conventional troops, so did its secret war. As a result, MACV saw ruined size and scope of I've told my Robert Scott McGurk story before. The man killed somebody, DUI, sabotage, roommate with the West Point, you know, vice president, son with it. He wasn't in this. He was in jail and found him. Got out because of that relationship. Got on a fucking bird out of for Mr. TDY and fell in. West Point graduate. The orders will follow. Where do you want me to go? I'm in. I want to. I want. I want to be the guy to go in. I'm sorry I killed somebody. You don't need to know that. I'm gonna fucking fight. 
So that man was on the last helicopter flying out. A Huey, he was on board. He was my battalion commander. That is another story. And Bob McGinnis was over there. Freaking Morse code. Wife's name is Bobby. He was a warrant officer. CW, fucking whatever the highest one is. He like picked the other warrant officers in MI. And a son named Sean. Beautiful man. Not with us anymore. But they don't pass. It's spiritual. We're in the golden age, folks. Just keep tick-tocking, tick-tock a good day. Weather regardless. Not irregardless. In the camp, hundreds of enemy troops came out of nowhere and began to surround them. As the Idaho ran for their lives and had to fend off thousands of troops on their way to the landing zone. Well, these are the enemy resistance. Okay. Their we got the idea here. Now we're going to get to the man. Get them out of their moments before the enemy for the next completely flooded segment. the perimeter. Sounds Cut. like something right now. Greetings. Greetings. It's taken over two days to put this bad boy together, but it's worth it. We've been watching a lot of stuff on men. We really haven't talked about women. And we're going to talk about them. We're going to watch a movie on a madman who must have been, been intended to be so brave that it worked. Fearlessness. Be fearless. In his case, there was risk that he could die. He was a part of this Sog Mac thing. But I want to talk about Yeshua for one second or more. Time being a dimension. His wife was Mary Magdalene. They were married. She used to be Hathor. We have this down to the electron level. They were all in Carmel. And the rule is, there's 900 million of us, so if you're watching this right now, you're probably one. I mean, if you're watching me, because I'm one. And if you've lived a life within the past 300 years, either way from Mary Magdalene, you're in. So do the math, there's 900 million of us, and it's 300 years either way. So you dropped in and did something. You probably saw Yeshua, you know. That must be the case. But even if you f f didn't make an appearance during that window, you get to go if you're within 300 years either way. And they lived a long time. They were vegetarians. Gnostic beings, Greece, over to Italy, Greek food, up to France, up to England, over to Skellig, Ireland. I'm 100% Irish, blood, because all four of my grandparents were born there. One in Straban, one in Sligo, and my mother's side is all from the County Cabin region. I've been over there. I'm going to see all of it before it's over. So that's an interjection. And we're going to watch a madman. And then this long video will be over. But it's worth it for posterity's sake. There's a hall of records in the Bahamas in Nassau. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get a load of this. Vietnam, late 1960s. Hostile North Vietnamese troops pinned down a hatchet force of elite American Nac B SOG operators. They have the numbers and the high ground. Hot chow on the high Americans ground. And their loyal indigenous mountain yards do not back down. Staff Sergeant Jerry M. Schreiber, also known as Mad Dog, dashes from cover to cover. This is not the Marine. The We've been sent to the Chimpanzee by the pistols, revolvers, and a lethal sawed-off shotgun. Boots on the ground. Some men are wounded. Some fire them. And a soldier hoisted up through the thick jungle canopy Why? to a chopper. The enemy presses on. Mad Dog does not flinch. He retaliates with all the ammunition at his disposal. The friendlies are lifted one by one until Mad Dog is them. left alone. He calls in for close air support several times. The enemy fire intensifies to the point 
and the radio offers Mad Dog Cyber assistance before. with the fresh movement of ground troops. But Marines are brave. He rejects the offers and replies, quote, but No, no, I've got them right where I want them. Surrounded from the inside. Before you put that smartphone back in your pocket, pause and do this instead. Did you know there's I'm a secret a warning hidden in your iPhone manual? It says, oh, carry on. Gary M. Schreiber was born on September 24th, 1941, in Defuniac Springs, Florida. 41, Florida. What is known about this man's life, Peter boy. except that he was destined to be an American hero, a Get decorated war veteran, theory. and the embodiment of the actual fighting Bravery. man. A soldier enamored with war, School and the Americans, you know, they do the crazy battle. shit. You got Lancero School. Schreiber grew up with tales of veterans fucking. from World War II. Why Those go? thousands in. of young men who invested in. to fight in the Pacific against the Empire of Japan Watch and Europe, him. against the might of the Third Reich's Wehrmacht. Genghis Khan was awarded the labyrinth on Mars. He was an empire builder. Mongolia. He's now in the right train of Joe Biden. Bringing around. School. Biden's in and hiding right now. Put it out. Yeah. First of the 327. Billy McCormick, McGurk. I just talked about him. Attain the cherished Green Beret of a true commando. Yeah, you just doing the training. The Cargo on that, you flip over Western it. The Soviet Union had led the United States to support the government of South Vietnam after France's defeat in 1954 at the hands of the communist Viet Minh guerrilla. The nation had embarked on the conflict unlike any other it had fought. From the late 1950s until 1975, the army would fight to the bitter end whole war. against a relentless enemy committed to turning Thanks Vietnam to into a communist state. If he lost the family weaponry, member, then blame him. Helicopters, heavily armored the tanks, surface air missiles, or SAMs, guided missiles, and others. The army Nixon got us out. Special operators trained to survive alone in the jungle and inflict heavy casualties on the enemy through unconventional warfare. Nixon got Luckily, rid of the gold standard. Schreiber, Kissinger brought home the pandas. The it's the Jews. So he said. Territories of communist infested Vietnam. Who's college advice? It's the Jews. Jerry M. Yeah, Schreiber of the U.S. Fifth Special Forces arrived in Vietnam in 1966. Tall and thin, Henry with a narrow down. face, the operator had the personality of a man born for action. He didn't know that. Future Medal of Honor recipient Jim Tennant later Prescott described Prescott. Jerry Schreiber as, quote, the quintessential wartime loner, antisocial, sweated, possessed by what he was Kennedy. doing, the best teammate, always training, constantly training. It was just training. a delay. Social loud it. Poor Dave W. allowed it. His cold eyes were always battle ready. Bohemian Grove, Betty Ford, Chris Nixon. Here's one Nixon now, two and Eisenhower. The enemy he sought to destroy to free Vietnam from communism. The staff sergeant was strict with his men, not to establish authority, but to make them better soldiers. Staff sergeant, that's war, right there. Survivors in the jungle, He's and hunters sick. of the night. Tim Fleming was going up or down from quote, there. Shriver convinced me that for the rest of my life, I would not go into a bar. And of course, the Vietnamese women know. were beautiful. Staff they still are. Wolf, who often spent the nights at the NCU's club, drinking a case of beer for himself, you know waiting for his next mission. During his first deployment in 1966, Shriver joined Ooh, the elite and highly secretive Mack Dussan, a military assistance command in the non-study of the population Only the best Let's of the best joined the unit. Ground. Chosen men from the army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, We have a lot of testosterone. We run, we repel, we fuck and we... We lay... Man, we flew a gamma goat. You know what that is? That's a fucking... A, a tactical doom buggy. Sling loaded. Sling loaded. Like swinging. That was all at Fort Campbell. Another time when we did a tailspin like 100 meters down. Not with anything on it. The guy lost his helicopter go forward thing because of the, uh, he turned his head back because the old man was telling him, hey, here's something on it. The guy looked over and the fucking bird whoop, and stopped about 15 feet off the ground as it down the nose. But Ed Ely, miter guy, went over at the behest of the mission of listening to the terrorists when they were released and they were getting all over in Afghanistan. To listen to them, to bug the tables and everything. So he got mobilized. He went to the fucking school, the farm, and he was gone. Where do you So he's out deployed and one of these fucking birds like this blows up with a bunch of rangers on it right next to him. 
I mean, I took it to a Bucks game because we were living it. They all burned the club. He was a fucking civilian. Like two years before that, he, he wasn't in the military. He was a fisherman. Ed Ely, I-L-L-I, he's over with the Aussies now, he's like still in the war. I try and talk to these guys and it's like, yeah! Well, Ed's a good man, he knows me, man, we fish together, he's a fucking great dude. Especially after getting notoriety among the enemy to his exploits. Probably. It was common for other operators to see Shriver armed with four to six pistols or revolvers on his person. All they were going to name a gym after him. Old, reliable, and powerful M1911 and the lethal Magnum. Shriver, that's like Shriver. Shriver's kit for combat operations was also unconventional. He, like he others in word that what the hell would Shriver. often employ enemy AK-47s, RPKs, and other guns that were not standard issue. They could make a pistol after him. Shriver carried a sawed-off shotgun, suppressed World War II. Look at this shit. Man, there's a guy in Tampa making one with a similar to that. There's a unique account of Shriver's arsenal during his second tour in Vietnam when he went to Nazi Sarge to control North. Mossberg receiver and a fucking club gauge. Captain Jim Stoder recalled, quote, that was a small he had pistols stuck everywhere on him. I mean, he had five or six thirty-eight caliber revolvers. The captain, bewildered about the sergeant's equipment, asked him, quote, Sergeant Shriver, I mean, they had the SOCOM convention thing, and guys came in with shit, and the gun show, you can get big shit if you know who to talk to. My son has a fucking... If you want a weapon, this guy made a 7.62 fucking AR. His teammate, Larry White, accompanied him to purchase a Marlin lever-action rifle chambered in the powerful 444 Look, this is all the same guy. He's just Shriver keeps going. Shriver did not plan on using such a powerful cartridge to hunt down grizzly and polar bears. He was thinking of taking down another type of prey. Shriver eventually shipped the rifle to Mac Vsog headquarters and said he would use it to bust bunkers and instill fear but in the heart the of the enemy. That's the kind of shit in Columbia. The massive exit wounds caused by the 444 Marlin cartridge. <laughs> Ultra Fire Cervical right. Cervical Care Pillow. Go Even away. orthopedic doctors are using it. Pillow, the pillow man. Orthopedic huh. Zombie. Rec- As a member of Mac Sog, Shriver was a platoon sergeant of the secret hatchet force units. It's all the cultists. 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 It's the hatchet forces were a part of Mac Sog and were tasked with unconventional warfare. You see, you form a brotherhood when you're authentic and you care about the counterparts. They know it. You eat meals with them, you know. You have to exchange cultural values. And in the case of South America, we brought them up to our school. We bring Saudis over, there's international exchanges, the their officers the come to our school, like bombs we had a fucking Saudi, a guy from Sri Lanka, but in my military intelligence course, now they had to leave when the tourists wouldn't allow it, if there was no problem, and they went and fucked off somewhere. And they were frustrated by it. So fucking one of them said I would have feels to go. He was like, ah, he was me out. Probably some royal fucker who was like, wait a minute. I'm one of you. No, you're not. No, you're not. You had to get some uniform to check. We paid money probably to bring your ass over here under foreign account of defense. Which Trump starved out Egypt, by the way. He starved out Egypt for foreign internal defense money. That's why Mahmoud al Sisi hates him. He gravitated Romans anyway. So what a coincidence. Nostradamus called him out. From D. He only did these much. But upon learning of a cruel prank some NCOs played uh-huh. on his dog, force feeding him with beer, uh-huh. Shriver walked into the NCO club with his 38 revolver and threatened the men. Not a single Looks like Pat Tillman threatening veterans that tied up his roommate. Shit, After three years of continuous combat patrols, war begins to get told on that dog Shriver. 
Uh, Shriver felt danger was around the corner. Dang, dang. The the April 24th, 1969, Mackey Saw Company. Some 20 miles away from the secret lair of the central office of South Vietnam. The main agent of the Communist Forces. Forces. Oh, okay. The A-52 bombers had heavily yeah, pummeled the area. Like, hey, and it was now time for Mad Dog and his comrades to clean house. Hey, the operators were heavily armed and hey, ready hey, to get rid of hey, the North hey, Vietnamese hey, garrison. Due to the secret of the mission, Shriver and the rest of the Mackey Saw operators were on their own. There was no air support, unless it was essential. Long time ago. Before boarding the chopper with his mounting yards, Shriver turned to his friends and said, quote, take care of my boy. He felt it was the last time he would see Klaus. One of the Hueys failed and had to turn back. Shriver's first and second platoons without valuable ground support. As soon as the men landed, they were immediately pinned down by several concealed machine gun nests. Mad Dog estimated his platoon was surrounded by six enemy platoons hidden in the bunkers. It's a small revolver, but it was up to Mad Dog and his mountain yards. It was up to Mad Dog and his mountain yards. It was up to Mad Dog and his mountain yards. That he would try to flank the machine the gun position. Gets blown back immediately got to work. High powered weapon for the first time. The fearless warrior inspired his loyal mother. Charged with the enemy and placement. And began dashing through yeah. a hail of enemy bullets and he's grenades. Tight, yeah. he's got buffers on it. Armed with a newsy SMG, Mad Dog opened fire against the enemy while on the move to protect his troops. And they did the same for him. The Once they approached the tree line, Mad Dog gathered his men, smiled at them, nodded, and they all threw grenades. Before venturing into hostile territory, to send down the machine gun emplacement. Yeah. Oh, no driver was never we're not going to be killing anymore. So, in the following uh, weeks, I know I repeated propaganda pieces. Anybody in the future that watched it, they did this shit. Driver, but no proof was ever given. Dedicated, light and dark, waiting and unwitting. The military sent the cleanup team to recover the fallen soldiers. Mind, body, spirit, dedication. No driver, and made it home. Some days. Three weeks away from finishing his third tour. Four plates, four times. All intended. Bye. Mad Dog was 27 years old. I think I'll live a life and get killed in Vietnam. Well, we got plenty of space. Come on. A legend left behind a couple of dollars. His brave shepherd clubs. I want to be born in Flat. And there they are. Not him. All right, guys, so we got the picture. Do a favor, we got the picture. This guy Schreiber is the man. And you know, in closing, there was a guy named Shepherd who was in my platoon as a fucking cadet. As a cadet. And before we did our run, which in those days was in boots, it was a mile run, this guy had the nerve to light up a cigarette before the run started. I'm like, what the fuck? And he was a military school guy, like northeast somewhere. Not VMI, but it, he was squared away. He fucking took off. I mean, these, these are cadets that live in college and, like, they're in the military. That's what they do as a natural part of their school. I don't know you're talking ROTC where you're you're in sometimes and then you're not. These guys, a favor, this we got the picture. This guy Schreiber is the man. And, you know, in closing, there was a guy named Shepper who was in my platoon as a fucking cadet. As a cadet. And before we did our run, which in those days was in boots, it was a mile run, this guy had the nerve to light up a cigarette before the run started. I'm like, what the fuck? And he was a military school guy, like northeast somewhere. Not VMI, but it, he was squared away. He fucking took off. I mean, these, these are cadets that live in college and, like, they're in the military. That's what they do as a natural part of their school. I don't know you're talking ROTC where you're, you're in sometimes and then you're not. These guys are in, like, Norwich. But this guy, Shepper, smoked a cigarette, took off in the boots, was the fucking first guy done, and was smoking a cigarette when I crossed the finish line. And I could run, I could hold my own even with boots, I ran like a 631 at the official test, and this was just a practice PT test, run part, this guy took off like a fucking rocket, and was smoking a cigarette, so see, Germans, what's the DNA, now you didn't want to mess with Ben T. Dallas, he was at a New Mexico military institute, and he was built like a bee, Ben T. Dallas, I remember all my guys from back then, 
I could name a lot of them. And it's great to have a good memory. It's part of the package. Dave Crowley. Let's leave with him. He was committed to our brother. Colorado man. He was a moose. <laughs> and when he was the drill sergeant for the day, the platoon sergeant, I should say, we had a wild night in the barracks. And it was melee. And the fucking light was supposed to be lights out. Crowley wasn't the kind of guy that's going to say, okay, guys, he's just going to let it all happen. He's like, that guy read fucking, uh, uh, not the Lord of the Rings guy, but that one that writes the shit that's way the fuck out there. He was into that. And so when he got busted, when we all got busted, you should have seen Crowley turn into the guy you didn't want to mess with. All right, let's get this place cleaned up. And he was very mild-mannered. And he wanted to sell everything after this was over and was already in the, hey, I'm going to be doing this, so I'm going to need assistance. This was 1979, Dave Crowley. So people that want to be the best have always been there, and I've got to watch it. So be your best version. Now that we know we're going to live forever here, if you're watching me, guess what? You're not going to die if you do the right things. All the answers are there for us already. They've been there. Roosevelt drank gin and tonic. Magic attained HIV. Fauci knew it. The American Journal of Medicine talked about hydroxychloroquine. It's Guan Yin. It's in our DNA. Like when you go out. And it's all written in the Sophia Code to study if you want to read about it. Mathematically and spiritually, you're the architect of your own destiny. So back to David Wilcock. He's going to take us places. And if you saw this video without having seen David w Wilcock, then go watch his stuff. How about that? Peace. Ooh. Do you find this stunning? So you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. You have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. Rolls to Buddy Harrelson, one, the first. Peter!